What we'll do in this segment is show you two of the end grain cuts you can do with a spindle gouge. The tool rest at this point is mounted just below the center so that with the tool up, the point of the tool is right at the center of the uh, turning. What you want to do is come in, rub the back of the bevel against the work, and just turn it slightly upward. Just taking it and you're turning it slightly and pushing it forward. If you didn't have it at the right height, what you'd end up as you cut, you could tell because you'd end up with a little nipple on it. The other cut is a hollowing cut. Same location from here, we take the point of the gouge. and push it into the wood. And then we're going to take the gouge, turn it to about a two, between two and three o'clock, and lift up. And this gives you an alternative for scraping for starting to hollow out the inner end of an end grain piece.